Empty baseball stadiums, shuttered bars, and quiet concert halls. The pandemic has taken its toll on the places that we would usually go to congregate for a good time. And as a result, thousands and thousands of kegs of beer have gone stale. But as Ginger Z now explains in this week's It's Not Too Late, Anheuser-Busch is turning that stale beer into fuel. Hi, I'm Ginger Z, and it's not too late. Now, a few weeks ago, we talked about that PPE litter, the masks, the gloves, on the parking lots, everywhere. Well, they're still there. And then there was the big ask from dozens of environmental groups. We can have these food delivery apps not automatically include things like uh, plastic utensils and plastic straws. If they did that, it actually would save some businesses some money. There's just been a lot of waste during the pandemic. And while I know there are much bigger fish to fry, has anybody thought about all the beer that went bad? I mean, think about it. Millions of kegs untouched. Restaurants, stadiums, arenas closed very quickly during the lockdown. So what happens to all the expired beer? Well, at Anheuser-Busch, they're taking it back, decanting nearly 250,000 kegs that have gone stale. And no, they don't have some Homer Simpson or Al Bundy-like character just waiting to drink the old beer. They take it back so they can make fuel. The 41 million servings of expired beer that's returned to the breweries is going to be put through a process known as BRRRS. It's an anaerobic digestion system that creates methane. Simplest terms, old beer helps make fuel that fuels the plant to make the new beer. Well, makes a lot of sense, but what am I blabbering on about? They're going to let me out of this basement so I can show you the process. This is going to be like a Mr. Rogers behind the scenes factory tour, a brewery one that we never got, didn't know we needed, but Anheuser-Busch, that's one of 10 facilities here in Newark that's taking the old stale beer and making wastewater cleaner and also making fuel. Let's give them beer. Stella, Oktoberfest, this is where the beer usually goes out, but today it's coming in. 250,000 kegs are being returned right here to this facility and all the others for Anheuser-Busch. The stale kegs come back in and go straight to their brew house. The old beer is treated like any other waste in the brewing process. We dump it here in a brew hall like this one, and then we're able to send it over to Burrs and, and capture that waste back. Then we use that to brew fresh beer. We get fresh beer out to those venues. You're utilizing waste along the process to make fuel. Yeah, so it was about 35 years ago was when we really started working with our, with our bioenergy, with our uh, anaerobic digesters. What's been interesting, what's been new is with COVID, Obviously, unfortunately, bars and restaurants, sports stadiums, music venues, they've got beer that they can't use. And so while normally the bird system is here to handle some processed waste, uh, maybe some lost beer here and there, uh, now all of a sudden the market is full of, of unused beer. Uh, and we don't want that to be discarded uh, unsafely or to cause any issues. And so it's worth it for you to spend to get the wholesaler to return it because it actually does end up saving. You really don't want large quantities of beer just dumped down in any drain anywhere. And so it's the right thing to do. Uh, I mean, to it's sad, that. too. You know, people yeah. would get sad yeah. to see a keg go. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't think people would even know that the quantity of a keg of beer going into a wastewater stream can have, you know, negative yeah. effects. So. Yeah, that's right. Once it's decanted, the beer goes through their burrs system. All the processed waste from the brewery, they'll come down here, uh, they'll go into one of these tanks, and that's where our biomass goes to work. And the biomass will, will take all the organics, chew them up, produce some methane gas. We recover that, take it uh, over here to our powerhouse where we use it to, to fuel the brewery. This is not beer, but this is the, <laughs> the process of burrs, right? Part of it. That's right. These are the hard workers. This is our biomass. Any kind of uh, sugar, any kind of protein, any kind of carb. Uh, these guys eat it up and create uh, create methane, and mm. then they grow. And uh, they're able to account for about 10% of the fuel we need to run the brew. They're not just making energy for y'all, right. but they're cleaning up the water. So like yeah. these little floaters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there they are. The little bacteria. I mean, it's not pretty, but it does a great job. That's right. <laughs>
With the BIRD system in overdrive, Anheuser-Busch is even more committed to sustainability. Energy consumption has gone down 60% in the last 10 years. Mm. That's your beer here in Newark. Wow. Water usage is down almost 50% in, in that same 10-year period. Coming up beginning next year, we're going to expand our solar array on the roof. Um, that panel will go up by another 8 million kilowatt hours. That's enough to fuel, uh, enough to power uh, about 800 homes. Um, and it gets us closer to 100% uh, renewable energy. And that was the goal by 2025, I saw in the safety video. Yeah, except <laughs> uh, I think we're going to make it next year. Talk about unprecedented times and truly having to deal with the sheer volume of kegs returning. The burst system is just one part of our whole sustainability effort. And, and as you can see, with the four sustainability goals, it's really touching every aspect of our business. And so that's kind of how we've adopted seed to sip as well. So we start basically basically from the seed all the way to the end consumer. Mm -hmm. And so sustainability is part of everything we do, every step um, of the process. I say cheers to that. I'm Ginger Z, and I promise it's not too late. Cheers indeed, a new way to recycle our thanks to Ginger. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.